Hello, happy Monday. This is Carrie with Cookbook Divas. Today we're going to talk about emergency preparedness supplies. Not also known as food hoarding, but <clears throat> as long as we eat it and use it, it's not hoarding, right? So I live in Seattle, Washington, where we can have earthquakes in theory. We can have ice storms that knock the power out. And I'm going to turn off my speaker so it stops humming. Okay. Uh, Etc. We can have flooding. We can have a whole bunch of natural disasters. Today, it was sunny and rainy and snowed, and it's going to snow at nine o'clock at night. So I like to stay prepared. We are broadcasting to Cookbook Divas on YouTube, on Amazon Live, on Facebook, and on Instagram. So hello. We're This is a shopping show. You don't have to buy anything. You can enjoy the conversation. I'd love to hear what kind of natural disaster emergencies you have lived through. I've lived through a 10-day power outage and a seven-day cough. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> so we're over on Amazon, and I'm going to mention that my ring light is 20% off today on Amazon, it, dropping it down to $71. Let me start off our chat over here on Amazon by dropping a comment, making sure I'm muted. All right. And I'm logged in as the wrong person, so I can't chat in my own stream. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let me try this again. Live Cookbook Divas. If you want to check us out, you can see our at Cookbook Divas links over at the bottom of the screen to Cookbook Divas show on Prepper. Now, I'm not a prepper, but I like to be prepared. I'm just not crazy and living in a bunker. Pantry preparedness. All right. <clears throat> My voice is horrible, but I feel good. My Logitech Brio 4K camera is also on sale today, 18% off. I'm using a Logitech for Creators microphone that is 31% off today. It's a Blue Yeti, and I've owned it for about eight years, and I've dropped it three times, and it's still working. Good job. I'm drinking out of a coffee mug I forgot to bring. Behind me is my fabric backdrop from Kate. It's covering up an ugly gray wall in my office. It is seven feet wide, five feet tall, and I'm hanging it on a backdrop stand. So the first emergency food we're going to talk about today is Augustin Farms freeze-dried white meat chicken. This particular container I don't own because I'm vegetarian, but I do keep some preparedness foods for my boyfriend. We'll talk about those later. This is 41% off, dropping it down to $60. Now, let me find one of the cans that I do have on hand. The strawberries are on sale, freeze-dried, $23. They're 33% off. So here's what I like about these cans. If you don't open them, they can be good for somewhere between 10 and 25 years, depending on the can. So they come with this little lid that you can take off. You're going to need a can opener to open open them so every prepper's pantry has to have at least five can openers in case something broke so this is four individual pouches inside so if you do open it up you're not wasting the entire thing now i am not going to open any of these i think on this live stream today i might have one that's already open but these are my actual personal emergency supplies so since right now there's a huge sale on august and farms pantry supplies, I'm going to stock up and then I'll have some extras that I can open up and actually taste and eat so I can let you know if they are yucky or not. We're about to go live on Instagram because I forgot to. <clears throat> I'm going to add a comment. Welcome to our emergency preparedness stream. Join us on Amazon live at amazon.com live cookbook divas to shop or just sit back and enjoy the show i was telling people over on amazon that i've lived through a 10-day power outage where i was cooking outside over a fire pit that really sucked luckily i had a dutch oven that could go in the fire and i had a skillet cast iron and I had pancake mix and water blah 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 but it was really hard to heat up the fire and by the time I cooked a thing of water for pasta I used up an entire cord of grocery store $5 wood, like you see outside of gas stations. It was a lot. All right. So we're talking about Augustin Farm super cans today, and I have not opened any of these. 
because I don't want to use my emergency supplies yet. But in the future, when my voice heals up a little bit from this cold, I'm going to do some cooking streams in my kitchen and outdoors where I actually make the stuff and we'll taste it and let you know if it tastes good or not. Now, Augustine Farms sometimes has food that seems like it should be vegetarian and it's not. This is fettuccine Alfredo, and I always want to check because sometimes, for flavor, they have dehydrated chicken fat in their foods as well. So this is four packets, and I like that because you can open this up and not open up all the packets and destroy them. And this is what we know as, <coughs> excuse me, this is what's called a number 10 can. And if I don't open it, it could be good for up to 25 years. Now, good preppers rotate out your stock frequently. And you're supposed to stock emergency foods that you would actually eat. So in my house, we stock a lot of canned Campbell's soup for my boyfriend, but it's high in sodium. He's really not supposed to be eating that a lot. So every spring, I get out all my prep, you know, cans. I take inventory. I look and see what we've got. And then anything that says, say, spring 2025 is going to the food pantry. And we're going to replace it, which gets kind of spendy with inflation. But these are just for emergencies, and this is the Fettuccine Alfredo. And Augustine Farms is having a huge sale. Now, their food is freeze-dried, so you would need access to water to rehydrate it and make it edible. Next up, the freeze-dried strawberries. You're going to want to keep some of those on hand because of vitamin C. But they're not a lot of calories, and when we're thinking of, like, natural disaster, emergency, apocalypse, whatever's mm -hmm. happening... You need calories because the men are going to be out fighting and hunting and guarding the place. The women are, it sucks. We're going to be hauling water, trying to do laundry, picking berries, you know, in the apocalypse situation. The men need a lot of calories for what they're doing. And so I have fettuccine Alfredo because that's going to provide a lot. But things like broccoli, this is not going to give you a lot of calories. In this can is only 28 servings, and servings are pretty small. And the serving is 25 calories. That's not enough to even pay you back for the chewing you do to eat it. But I'm keeping this on hand because what if we had a natural emergency and we had to eat food for a month until FEMA could come help us or whatever? We'd be tired of soup, soup, chili, peanut butter, soup, chili, tuna. Broccoli at least would give us a little variety, some green veggies, some minerals, vitamins, etc. So this is freeze-dried broccoli, florets, and stems. And it is on sale, 36% off, $23 for this can. That's still kind of spendy for what it is and for the few calories that you get from it. And probably on my cooking stream, oh, I hear it. <clears throat> can you hear that? It's basically just freeze-dried freeze broccoli hanging out in the can. So once I open this, I'm going to have to use it all up. But I'm going to probably use this in a cooking live stream in my kitchen once my voice heals up so I can talk about what it tastes like and what I could possibly put on it in an emergency, which spices, obviously salt and pepper, lemon pepper spice would be good on this. And how do you cook with it once you've done it? Hello from Jan. Nice to have you here. Do you keep any emergency food in the house? And have you ever lived through a natural disaster emergency? I have. 10-day <clears throat> power outage. And I was so lucky right before it happened. It was an ice storm in Seattle. We call it the Hanukkah storm. It was about 16 years ago. And I had just gone to the store because we knew that maybe a snowstorm was coming. Turns out it was ice. So I had stocked up on dairy lettuce, tomatoes, all the fresh foods that you want. And I had just spent an entire day doing our laundry, bedding, sheets and towels, especially underwear. Now I own what, 30 pairs of underwear. I can go a week without doing laundry. It's fine. I still have clean clothes, but the bedding and towels, they were getting kind of nasty by day 10 of the power outage. So let's look at some more of these Augustine Farms foods that I have in my carousel. And I'm having trouble seeing it on my tiny little phone. You see me looking down here. Amazon Live has us running our live stream carousel off of the phone. So I have that down there. Okay, the honey white bread and scone mix I have not baked yet. And I'm really looking forward to doing a live stream where I bake with all this stuff. I'm not comfortable doing it until I get my voice back a little bit better because I know I sound like crap. I apologize for that. I've had the stupid cold for weeks and weeks, but I'm okay. This is heavy. This is 48 servings, 
And if I don't open this up, I believe it's good for 25 years. I'll be pretty old by the time I open this in that case. This is Honey White Bread Scone and Roll Mix. It is not gluten-free. And let me get, I'm looking for my set of glasses that are supposed to be right here on the live stream. Aha, found them. They're pink. All right. <clears throat> How do you make these? What else would you need? Normally, since this is emergency food, you only need to add water. Warm water, you do need vegetable oil, instant dry yeast, and bread mix. And those are not included. So you'd have to have oil and yeast on hand. You know, I wish they would charge another two bucks for this and have a package of yeast just wrapped up inside in desiccated form. Oh, well, whatever. The bottom of the tin says bakery, food storage, emergencies, everyday food. That's what they're suggesting. This is a three pound, 10 ounce can. And it's going to make you, the serving size is quarter cup, 120 calories is about one eighth of the loaf. So you can make either a loaf or biscuits, breads and scones and rolls. So I might make dinner rolls with this when I get brave enough to do a kitchen live stream. And kitchen live streams are kind of nerve wracking for us influencers because everyone's kitchen echoes. So I have to put a blanket wall up and blankets on the floor and try not to trip over them. You need everything. You need your lighting. You need extra microphones because it's echoey. And then you're trying to cook. Ah, I'm, oh, I've done it a couple of times. It was really fun and really nerve wracking. Next up, we have Augustin Farms. What's in the carousel? Let me run over here. Next in the carousel is not the strawberries. Oh, diced carrots. Okay. Why would I want to keep a can of diced carrots around to make soup with? Because you can make soup with dehydrated carrots, dehydrated onions, which I have over here somewhere, dehydrated celery, dehydrated carrots. And then you just throw a bunch of water in there and some spices and you're good to go. This normally is $42.99 for a can. It is on sale here on Amazon, 46% off, dropping it down to $23. They're having a pretty big sale this week. I'm not sure what's going on if they're just trying to rotate through their stock, but I'm here for it. Dehydrated apple slices are good to keep on hand. Not lots of calories, but they also provide vitamin C. You can rehydrate them. I probably wouldn't just sit there eating one that's been rehydrated, it's gonna be kind of chewy, but you could put it in your oatmeal, your breakfast cereal, et cetera, and then you're getting different flavor if you're actually in an emergency where you've been eating boring emergency food for weeks. This is $18, because it's 28% off today. Let's go look at the next one. Let me know if you have any questions about these other than what do they taste like? I don't know, I'm scared to try. In a real emergency, I wouldn't be scared. I would eat them. And I also probably couldn't be vegetarian for very long. That's a nice choice that I've made. But <clears throat> the next one is, oh, that's the apples. Okay, chicken flavored vegetarian meat. I just ordered. It's not here yet. And I am someone who does enjoy fake vegetarian meat if it doesn't taste like meat. I don't like Beyond Beef. It tastes too real to me. Blah! One of the reasons I'm vegetarian is I just think it personally, it tastes horrible. But I do have the beef flavored. Here it is. I have not tasted this yet. Beef flavored vegetarian meat substitute. And I am super lucky that my boyfriend does like some vegetarian meats, but I don't try to prevent him from eating meat. I don't care if he does or not. <clears throat> I will cook real beef tacos for him tonight. Actually, that's our dinner plan. Taco Monday. I don't know what happened. Taco Tuesday. Forget it. I don't want to wait that long. But he does like some fake meat, and that way I don't have to cook two separate meals every time. But he should have real beef if he wants it. This is not on sale, but it's two pounds, five ounces, for just $16.94. It's 40 servings. So you could make tacos with it, chili. You could make fake hamburgers with it, etc. This is beef-flavored vegetarian meat substitute, and these are usually made out of soy and gluten. Let's see what this one is. And they give you instructions on the back on how to rehydrate it. They say, remove oxygen absorber and discard. Well, duh. In a mixing bowl, add boiling water to beef flavored vegetarian meat, substitute and stir. Yep. And then let stand five minutes until all the water is absorbed. Okay. Two cups of rehydrated beef flavored vegetable is approximately one pound of cooked beef. 
The ingredients are textured vegetable protein, TVP. You either like the way it tastes or not. I actually do. Soybean oil, natural flavor, including yeast extract and natural flavor, and non-iodized salt. Contains soy. Good to know. So I'm very curious to see what this tastes like. And when I finally open this stuff up and eat it, I will let you know. But right now, this is my personal emergency supply, so I don't want to open them up. But since they're on sale, I'm going to be buying doubles of everything that I have so that I can try this stuff out. <clears throat> Next in the carousel is Southwest Chili Mix. Oh, this is the one I am actually the most eager to try. Did I get the right one? Is this one the one that is 43% off? Let me see. Yes. Dropping it down to 27.48. 43% off. Do I have it here? I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. 34 servings. Some jerk put a price tag on the front. And I had to rip it off because that's a different price than Amazon has. And I, I wanted to be sure that this is vegetarian because if not, I'm just going to feed it to my boyfriend. But if it is, I can have some too. And this is something I'm very likely to try out on a live stream and cook it or cook it outside over my fire pit. I'll show you how I do it. But that's coming up in the future. Right now, it's raining. I'm not going out there. Ingredients, pinto beans, red beans, modified food starch, vegetarian beef base. Okay, good to know. Tomato powder, chili powder, blah, blah, blah. How do you make this? You remove oxygen absorber and discard. Whisk chili mix and seasonings into boiling water. Reduce heat to medium and continue cooking for 12 to 15 minutes. Stir frequently. That could not be easier. And I have not... Did I open this one? Oh, hey, you guys. I opened this one. Oh, my gosh. It smells good. So I am going to have to cook with this pretty soon because it's open. It's not going to last 25 years now. It actually smells really good. Okay. So there's no pouches inside. So once you open it, you're going to have to cook it all up. And it's 34 servings. And I can't really throw a party and tell my friends, come on over and look at this chili mix. I don't think they're going to want to do it. Okay. It surprisingly tastes good. Now, to add extra protein, I would probably add in, after I rehydrated it, this beef-flavored vegetarian meat substitute. Because I do like TVP. I'm not sure my boyfriend does, though. So I may end up making two meals. So I could make an entire dinner with some of this food. I could use the chili mix and then make rolls to go with them. And I wish Augustin Farm had a cornbread mix. I don't think they do. Anyway, here's our last look at the only one of these that I've opened. And I forgot I did that, so I got to get cooking on that one. That's not going to last super long now. I could have broccoli on the side and we could have dessert of reconstituted strawberries or apples if we really had to. Okay, what is next? What are we chatting about? The next pantry prepper food is freeze-dried peas, a number 10 can. And I wasn't able to find that, so I can't hold it up and talk about it. Ah! So let's see what it says over on Amazon. I have to click on it to go find it. We talked about carrots already. So the reason I have peas and I want to actually have three or four of these in the house, you'll only get 19 servings, but peas are high in protein. And protein is super important, especially in emergency situations where you might be clearing wood, clearing debris, rowing boats, carrying water. I don't know what you're doing, hiking out. It's gluten-free, but again, only 19 servings. And the servings give you 80 calories, but they're super easy to rehydrate. Remove oxygen over absorber, cover the peas with water, let sit five to 10 minutes, drain the excess water, heat and serve. It could not be easier than that. Now, it's going to taste horrible by itself. And I, as a kid, was not a fan of peas. I am now if they're fresh. But you could put lemon pepper salt on it, even barbecue seasoning would help. Anything with a little lemon acidity. You could throw a little bit of chili powder in there or chili lime seasoning. Anything to punch it up a little and not have it just be like peas. Ah! So that one is not on sale, but it's a good deal. Dehydrated potato slices. Do I have those? Yes, those are right here. <clears throat> okay. I have not opened them, but you can tell that they're not in a pouch. They're just right in there. So this is shelf life up to 25 years. Just add water. 
18 servings, not a lot. When I start doing the math, and I counted once, all the cans of, say, just canned veggies. Oh, it's snowing out my window right now. Canned veggies, canned soup, etc., pasta sauce and pasta. I counted up in my house. I had 30 cans of soup. Well, that's great, except there's my boyfriend and me. So that's 15 meals, which is seven days of lunches and dinners. But a can of soup, as you know, isn't that filling. Delicious, comforting, yeah. But you really need, when we eat soup, we have crackers with it and a salad on the side, and we're not out there moving wood or shoveling snow or doing all this calorie-intensive food. So dehydrated potato slices, I would just fry up in a skillet. This would be easy camping food. You're going to want to rehydrate it and then kind of pat it down, fry it in your skillet over the campfire, etc. I love potatoes, so I had to have some of these in the house, but they're not on sale. They are 20 bucks. Amazon is telling me that a thousand people bought one of these in the last month. So I'm not the only person going, potatoes sound pretty good if there's an emergency. Nice. That'll be something easy for me to do a live stream cooking about too. show. I'll go in the kitchen, fry it up, and then taste them. And then I'm going to give you an honest, if it tastes horrible, I'm going to let you know. And we each like foods different ways. Maybe you would think it was good. Augustine Farms, as a selling point, says, no washing, peeling, or slicing, and certified gluten-free, calories per serving, 90, and up to a 25-year shelf life. I feel like I would eat four or five servings <clears throat> in an emergency, though, so I want to stock a few more of those. Okay, what do we have next? That was the dehydrated potato slices. Next up is... I don't have one of these on hand, and I need... Oh, do I? Yes, I do. Buttermilk biscuit mix. And this would be fun to try out at a brunch where I have friends that are not super picky in case it doesn't taste good. This is has no leavening in it. It's 32 servings. It's really heavy. And the shelf life is only up to 10 years on this one. Many of these cans are 25 years. This one's only 10. And I think it's because of some of the ingredients. And the directions are a little bit more complicated because they're having you turn the dough out, combine baking powder, which is not included. And you're going to yield. Oh, you really are going to have to stock baking powder and yeast to use some of these products for the baking. Uh, roll out, cut with a biscuit cutter, etc. This does have niacin and reduced iron and thiamine. So you're getting some of the uh, minerals and vitamins that you're going to need in an emergency situation. Amount per serving, uh, one two-inch biscuit is 160 calories. That sounds about normal. So that could be a way to fill people up before they go out and do their apocalypse preparations for the day, whatever they're doing, cutting down trees, fortifying your fort, opening the bunker doors and getting fresh water. I don't know. <laughs> Butter and milk biscuit mix. And you can take these camping with you. Just remember to bring your baking soda with you or baking powder so that they'll rise. So that is 20, 30. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. That's on sale. What? $12.44 for this entire can. That is a great deal. It's 48% off today. Nice. Okay. That's the one. I had the wrong one in the carousel. Dirt. I'm still a little bit rusty on live streaming. I haven't done it for a while because my voice has just sounded horrible. But I feel good. I'm not sick. <clears throat> Augustin Farms lasagna. Now let's find out if this has meat in it or not. I suspect it does. And the way they show the picture on the can looks like I can just open up the can and heat it and there's lasagna. But uh, I'm going to have to stir it. Where'd they get the cheese powder for the top? So this is 12 total servings. Not a lot. But each serving is 240 calories, so that's good. You do get three individual pouches, so if I open this up, I'll still have two left. So I can use one to try it out. Four servings per pouch. This is a super can, and the shelf life is up to 25 years on this. So again, this could be a camping food. It doesn't just have to be for emergencies. Three individual pouches. And then they have a huge, huge list of ingredients, more so than their other Augustine Farms products. Contains milk and wheat. So directions for one pouch. Remove the oxygen absorber and discard. 
Whisk the entire contents of one pouch into four and a half cups of boiling water. Reduce heat to medium and continue cooking for 20 minutes, stirring frequently. Remove from heat, let stand two to three minutes before serving. Well, it could not be easier than that. I feel like a lot of this is stuff that teenagers with no experience cooking could be making. This is on sale. Fantastic deal. It is 45% off. $18 to have a can of lasagna that could last up to 25 years if you don't open it. Nice. Now, where in your house do you store your emergency cans like this? We're not hoarders, right? So they're not in the bathtub. They're not underfoot in our living spaces. I have mine up at the top of closets where they're out of the way, but we know they're there. I do have a few in the pantry. I have a couple in the coat closet at the top. And then I'm not really a shoe person, so I don't own as many shoes as a normal woman. So I have some in my closet too. I don't store them in the garage because I'm worried about the heat and cold fluctuations. But my neighbor had a really good idea. And I'm going to take a sip of water. My neighbor was like, he has a giant 32-gallon whatever sealed trash can in his backyard with this kind of stuff in it. And it's weighted so that bears can't get into it. I don't think a bear would break into these. They can't smell it. We have bears in my neighborhood occasionally. And that way, if there's an earthquake and your house collapses, your house would collapse on all of your emergency food. And that way he'd have an entire 32-gallon thing in the backyard of food he could cook if the emergency people could not get out to help us. And hopefully they could. <clears throat> that was the lasagna. What is the next item in the carousel? I'm popping over to Instagram. Katie, hello. We're talking about emergency foods. Please drop a note in the chat. Yay. And notice that my voice sounds horrible and I'm still live streaming. All right. The next item we're going to chat about is creamy potato soup mix. Now, I don't have a can of that nearby that I can reach, but I wanted to show it to you because, oh my gosh, it's on sale. 50% off, dropping it down to $17.50. It's, I'm guessing it's one of the cans that only lasts 10 years. Oh no, this is up to 25 Sometimes the creamy ingredients are like 10 years. Great. Okay. It's 25 servings of creamy potato soup mix. I'm, it is gluten-free, Katie, but I'm not sure if it's vegetarian. I'm looking, I'm looking. Chicken fat. Yeah. So I would have to make that for my boyfriend and he could eat that. And I would go back to my vegetarian chili with TVP in it. But $17.50 is a great deal on this because it's usually $35. bucks. i am going to buy one. What is the next item? I see another item that's 50% off. Also, it is the gluten-free black bean burger mix. I have not tried this yet. I'd like to next time we're barbecuing, but that's not going to be anytime soon because it's snowing outside my window right now. This is gluten-free black bean burger mix. I suspect it's very similar to the TVP beef flavored that we have over here. It's probably just a little different because it has stabilizers. So when you're compressing it into a little patty, then it'll stay together. It's 50% off, $14.90. You can also buy it in the four gallon size if you really wanted to. And that one also has a shelf life of up to 25 years. Hello, Little King Cottage. Oh, I love your Instagram profile. I need to go look at it. It's been a while. I try to click like when I see an Instagram uh, posts that I like because then Instagram will show me more of that person's posts because you can't put every single person into your top favorites list even though you want to. So the next item we're going to chat about is I believe the spinach if I looked at this correctly. Yes this one is a little spendy for what you get and look at this I can hold this with just one finger or two fingers it's so light there's not a lot in here. This entire can is just eight ounces but it's 45 servings of dehydrated spinach flakes. Would I run out and cook with this on a daily basis? No, this is for emergencies. It is $14.28. It's not on sale to name. And there's 45 servings. The total amount of calories for this is 450. So in an emergency, this is not really feeding you, but it's helping you mentally because you're mixing in with your other foods to get some of the vitamins and minerals and just a different flavor if you're eating chili every day for three weeks in an emergency. 
it would be something a little bit different to take your mind off your worries. They're also mentioning that you can use these in a spinach and banana smoothie. I would never do that. That sounds horrible. Excuse me. You can use it to make a spinach vegetable dip as well. Each serving is just 10 calories, not enough in an emergency when you actually need calories. But I thought I'd let you know about it, and this shelf life is up to 25 years. And you could definitely put this in with your soup that you could make out of the dehydrated carrot slices, dehydrated celery that they sell. You could mix it in with the broccoli. We're just trying to make some complete meals, not just have garbagey carbs all day. The next item we're going to chat about, do I own it? Dehydrated potato shreds. I don't see those. Looks like I have two biscuit mixes. One is honey white bread roll and scone mix, and the other is buttermilk. And for both of them, you have to have yeast and baking powder on hand. So you'd have to store those two. Dehydrated potato shreds, I would think, I haven't tried them, would be really good for camping and making hash browns. And they're 47% off. They're just eight of 52. So I'm going to buy a couple more cans of those because they have a shelf life of 25 years. And my life is worth $8.52. It is 21 servings. But the servings are pretty small. I can imagine my boyfriend and I would probably have three servings each for a big breakfast if we knew you had to go out and work and do stuff. It's for survival, camping, and everyday uses. But I have not tasted them. So I'm really curious to do a live stream where I do taste those. But I wanted to show you the 47% off deal. Like, holy moly. And that is the end of my live stream. I've covered everything that I have, so I'm going to close out our Instagram people. Thanks so much. You can watch the replay over at amazon.com slash live slash cookbook divas or over on our YouTube. Bye. Okay, Instagram people are gone. We're still here with Amazon and YouTube. Discard live video. Well, let's save the video. Yeah, let's discard it. Live streaming on Instagram is a little weird. Yes, discard it. All right. So if you had any questions about any of these items, other than what do they taste like, drop me a comment. <laughs> I don't know what they taste like, but we'll definitely find out. And I'm about to come right back and live stream about some toys here on Amazon Live. I'm not going to publish that to Cookbook Divas because you guys are not here for toys. You're here for cookbooks. Let's see how my voice holds up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next live stream.